Hi, I am Mary Lugiev. Uh, I write for a national newspaper uh, called Business Mirror and I've also been writing for Women's Feature Service which is an all-women writers organization working on uh, development issues in the developing countries. Tell me about your experience during environmental reporting um, and investigative reporting. Uh, in Women's Future Service, definitely, we always have a women's angle, a, a woman's voice in the stories, and uh, I've done stories because I'm, I'm the uh, writer for the mountains in the northern Luzon area. So I've done uh, stories on uh, uh, rural women in the, uh, in the mountains and in the countryside. And uh, so the issues would have been on logging, and uh, agriculture and the role in in the culture, in, in keeping culture intact. Uh, what are you um, most interested in getting out of the fellowship experience? Uh, this this is uh, th this this whole training is, is exciting because I've done a lot of feature stories, but not necessarily investigative. So. In one way, I have a lot of background in doing lengthy stories, in-depth reporting, but not so much in investigative as, as some formulas presented in this workshop have been presented. And I think that's exciting. It's a, in a way, it's a new field for me. It's an exciting field and there's enough material to start with how to approach the story. And uh, I'm really looking forward to doing work in this in this area. What story are you excited to begin working on? There's so many, you know, but uh, something that I, I, I would feel I might have material to start with. I've, I've uh, talked to a, uh, a consultant actually of the environment department here who's criti not really criticizing but who assessed the geohazard maps they've made. And they said that this would even endanger more lives because it's not complete and it's probably not based on. Uh, because he his, he made uh, other he, he made new criteria for determining geohazards, and it's uh, and the the DNR maps would be short of those criteria, and so I'd like to explore that more because he gave some some very. Uh, very concrete examples to prove his theories based on the, the casualties that the earthquakes and the typhoons uh, gave. So I, I think that would be, it's something I'd like to explore.